Uh, good morning. I'd just like to take a few minutes and reflect on my times at uh, the church. Uh, my family first joined the church when I was seven years old. And though I don't remember all the specifics from when we first joined, I do remember how nice everyone was. My first experiences in the church were uh, the rally day in 2001, as well as my first Sunday school class. Uh, Mrs. Huey was my first Sunday school teacher at this church, and she truly made me want to keep coming back every Sunday with her fun Bible-themed activities. Uh, looking back, most of my time uh, spent in this church has been in Sunday school. And luckily for me, all of my Sunday school teachers have been absolutely fantastic. Starting with Mrs. Huey and Mrs. Katz in second and third grade, to Mrs. Beecraft and Mrs. Bauer in fourth and fifth grade, to Mr. Walbert and my dad from sixth grade to eighth grade, and Mr. Kribersek throughout high school, I've had the best Sunday school teachers anybody could ever have. They've all helped me become a better person along the way, each of them doing it in a slightly different fashion. Mrs. Beecraft and Mrs. Bauer really helped strengthen my understanding of the Bible through, uh, in the stories. There's so many activities, including the memorization of all the books of the Bible and our own special Passover meal. That was fun. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wolver and my dad uh, both continued to teach the stories of the Bible while also connecting the Bible to situations we face in our daily lives. Uh, Mr. Krimstick's class took on a different field than the other Sunday classes, or Sunday school classes, though, as we would uh, do certain topics every week that were perhaps only appropriate for high school uh, aged children, such as comparing various religions, discussing the afterlife, and whether or not we're alone in the world, um, or in the universe. Uh, Mr. Kermit's class was especially stimulating, and while making me want to come to class every Sunday, he also did a tremendous job in strengthening my faith. Furthermore, all of my Sunday school teachers, uh, besides being really good at teaching the stories of the Bible and explaining it in ways that pertain to us, were outstanding role models as well. Each and every one of them provided a great example of how a true Christian li lives its life, and I strive to live, to live under the example that each of them set. And of course, there was a bell fire. <laughs> Although I did enjoy it until I was a little bit older, I still have so many fond memories of those early morning bell fire persons. <laughs> the older kids, most notably David Walbert and Will Hoover, were great role models for me, while also making bell rehearsal a lot more fun. <laughs> and of course, there was Mrs. Grimashek, who spent countless hours preparing her music and making sure we were ready to play uh, in church, all with a smile, of course. She brought donuts every week as well, and that was a big plus. Anyway, the huge commitment that she made to keep the bell choir running and, successful, and the successful one was so large that it cannot be overestimated, and all of us are extremely thankful of her. And I would also like to, or and just like all of my Sunday school teachers, she was an even better person than the bell choir teacher, and she was a great role model for all of us who came to church an hour early to ring some bells. And there are a couple others in the church who weren't necessarily my Sunday school teachers or bell choir uh, teachers, who I feel I should mention as well. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Moore specifically for making me feel very welcome at church, as throughout the years we'd often talk about my own sports and professional sports as well during coffee hour. It was really cool to have a person in the church that I could talk to about these things. Um, and I'd also like to mention Mr. Bauer. Um, he has had a very positive influence on my life. Our relationship has grown over the last few years, starting with when I interviewed him for a TV broadcasting class at school my sophomore year. <laughs> After the interview, we realized that the camera didn't record the interview properly, <laughs> and he was generous enough to do it again. That really says a lot about it. <laughs> uh, since then, he's given me a lot of advice on the college process, and he first uh, introduced me to Washington University, the college I'll be heading off to in the fall. Mr. Bauer has also been a great role model, as he has shown me that someone who is so successful can also be a person who is very down to earth and a person who is extremely generous and charitable. Uh, now, looking back on what's been nearly 11 years in the church, I can't help but feel a little bit sad. I've met so many fantastic people along the way, and I feel like I've become part of a new family. But now that I've headed off to college, I know that I can take the principles and lessons that all of you taught me here and take them with me wherever I may go. And lastly, I'd like to thank everyone in this church. You were also kind and accepting over the years, while also guiding me to become a better person. Thanks. <laughs>